Hello everyone. Let's now turn our focus to a small but important part of the dance of Lom, the subthalamus. Although it's often overshadowed by the structures like thalamus and hypothalamus, the subthalamus plays a critical role in movement regulation and understanding it is especially important when you are studying the basal ganglia circuitry. So, what is the subthalamus? The subthalamus lies just below the thalamus and it is located between the thalamus and the midbrain. So, it is technically the part of the dancephalon, but functionally it is closely connected with the basal ganglia, which are the deep nuclei involved in movement coordination and control. So, the main structure that makes up the subthalamus is subthalamic nucleus. And this is what we will focus on in this particular topic. So, what does the subthalamic nucleus do? Here is the key point. The subthalamic nucleus is the part of the indirect pathway of the basal ganglia motor circuit. Now, let us quickly revise what that means. The basal ganglia controls movement through two major pathways. The direct pathway which facilitates movement and the indirect pathway which inhibits excessive or unwanted movements. Therefore, smooth movements can be coordinated. So, what is the role of subthalamic nucleus? So, the subthalamic nucleus plays a central role in the indirect pathway. So, it sends excitatory projections that is glutaminergic projections to both the segments of the globus pallidus that is the globus pallidus externa and interna and the substantia nigra. So, these excitatory signals help increase inhibitory output from the basal ganglia to the thalamus which result in reduced movement, especially acting as a break on unnecessary motor activity. That is the reason it is a key component of the indirect pathway of the basal ganglia. So, what is the clinical relevance here? What happens if the subthalamic nucleus is damaged? If there is a lesion or a stroke involving subthalamic nucleus, especially due to something like a lacunar infarct, the inhibitory control is lost. And uh, what does that lead to? It leads to a condition called as hemibalismus. So, this is a rare but striking movement disorder, which is mainly characterized by the violent flinging involuntary movements usually affecting one side of the body, hence the name hemibalismus. And here is the key part guys. So, because the motor pathways decussate and cross over, a lesion in the right subthalamic nucleus lead to hemibalismus on the left side of the body and vice versa. So, this is what you need to know about the subthalamus. So, to quickly summarize before we conclude this topic, the subthalamus is a component of the dance of lawn located just below the thalamus. Its most important part is subthalamic nucleus. Functionally, it is a part of indirect pathway of the basal ganglia helping to inhibit excessive movement. It sends excitatory signals to the globus pallidus and substantia nigra. And lesions in the subthalamic nucleus can cause contralateral hemibalismus a violent involuntary movement disorder. So, all these are the high yield points what you need to know about subthalamus anatomy.